Now in today's DIY video, we're going to be replacing an LED downlight that's failed. Now for those of you not familiar with this type of LED downlight, I'll just run through quickly how it works. Um, this is obviously the light and that's the where it shines into the room and this is what sticks into the roof space above the ceiling. Now it's held in the roof space by these two clips which do that and then they press down on the roof and pull the light up. Now this particular one the electronics for the LED are in this little box here and then you've got the cable and this cable now in the roof normally you'd have one of these sockets fitted in the roof and the cable would go into that and this socket would be wired to the light switch so we'll just leave that out for the moment and then I'll just show you how this setup goes uh, into the roof Right, then to, to put the light in the ceiling, feed the plug through first and uh, you'd have to put your hand through the hole and then and plug it into the socket and then feed the rest of the light through with a control box if there is one. And then last of all, you put the light in. You have to activate the springs first Get them through the hole, make sure the cable's not trapped and then the springs will activate and push down on the top of the roof and hold it in place. You'll see them there pushing down on top of the roof. And then if you look from the bottom, that's what you'll see in the room with the light shining down and uh, everything's nice and neat. To take this out, you just pull down and the, and the springs will start to release and then just wiggle it one way then the other way and as soon as you can grip the springs with your finger so that they don't damage the ceiling and bring it down like that and then you just pull the cable out and obviously unplug to get it out. Now we'll demonstrate that in the house as well. But the problem is that the old down light if you have a look here, has got a smaller diameter, 72 millimeter diameter hole, whereas the new downlight needs a 92 millimeter hole. So we've got to make the hole in the roof, and I'll show you that. In, we've got to make this hole in the roof uh, from 72 to 92. And to do that, we're going to use. Um, the usual hole saw, but the problem that we'll have is that the centralizing pin of the hole saw won't have anywhere to run on. So I've had to make a jig to keep that hole centralized. And this is what I've done is I've got a, a little block of wood and I've drilled a hole exactly the same size as the hole saw. And what I'll be doing is screwing this upside down like that in that hole and then the hole saw will run in the hole that I've made in this jig and hopefully keep it centralized so we'll see how that works so I'll set that up in a moment and the 92 millimeter hole is much more convenient than the old 72 millimeter hole because the problem that we have with the old one is these uh, LEDs have a plug and there's a socket in the roof that you have to plug them into and to do that you need to get your hand in the hole. Now a 72 millimeter hole, most people can't get their hand very far into that hole. I can't even get my hand through it. Um, so the 92 millimeter will be a much better deal so that's why I'm prepared to go to all the trouble of expanding that hole. Now before we start I just want to spend a, a moment talking about uh, the preparation and if you look at the floor here this is a bathroom floor and it's tiled so if you drop anything any tool that's hard metal 
it's going to chip this floor. So it's worthwhile spending a bit of time just protecting the floor. And you can see I've used a few bath mats and some corrugated cardboard. And then a painter's drop sheet on top of all that. So that's good advice to, to, to give yourself good protection. And the other thing is to get a, a step ladder that is pretty stable uh, for you to work off. And then the usual protective gear is always handy. I'll just demonstrate the problem with this hole. You see my hand doesn't even fit into it. So I can't get my hand in there to plug the plug in for the LED. So now we, we've got to get this into the, the roof first. Then we've got to bring it so that it's more or less central in the hole. And then we've got to have a way of keeping it there. So I'm going to screw it up to the ceiling and I'll have to paint and fill to correct any. Pretty stable now. Yeah, that's worked pretty well. There's the piece that came out. Now it's a matter of getting the, the jig that I made out of there. Right, now we just remove the jig. screw pulled through but that's not serious because we're going to fill those holes anyway so now you can see I can get my hand in there which is a great advantage and then we've just got to check that everything works so we'll try out the new one faithful assistant to switch the light on there we go all done and we'll just make sure that it goes in this hole before I do any finalizing of the finishing of the hole there we go perfect so it's just a matter of filling these two holes and putting a bit of paint over that and then it's all done Right, we'll just leave the light in there while we're filling. It's a good idea to protect it. I'll just put it in a ziplock and just let it hang from the roof. We'll come back in a moment and we'll sand those when it's dry. And then put a bit of paint over and it's not a bad idea to paint the cut edge here so that it doesn't uh, drop powder the whole time into your house.
So if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you'd like notification when the next video comes out, just click on the bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.